Hello, this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. Today I want to make a quick video to show how V12 engine is in limp mode. So I'm going to duplicate a limp mode basically to show what's happening when you have a limp mode. Now to duplicate this is very simple. It's basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, I already did that, but um, basically what we're doing here is I do have two throttle bodies that I built for a customer. As you can see, they're connected to my vehicle here, both units. But my units are not connected. These are my units. They run throughout, so they are disconnected. So basically I'm going to induce the limp mode by pressing on the gas pedal with my units not connected to the computer. So basically what's going to happen is the computer will see that I'm pressing on the gas but because it's not connected to the linkage it will trigger limp mode because throttles don't open when I press on the, on the gas pedal. So let's just see how that all works out and um, you will see how the engine runs in limp mode. Okay, the, the test car is a 95 S600. So, get it in the car start the ignition. In many cases obviously what's gonna happen is you just drive down the road, you press on the gas pedal and then suddenly your ASR light comes on, ABS light come on, um, sometimes only ASR and car goes into limp mode where you press on the gas you do not have any acceleration. You have to press the gas pedal further down, you will have very limited power. So that's how limp mode happens. So let's just start our test car right now. So basically ASR light is not on because computer sees both throttles being connected to the controller but if I'm going to press on the gas pedal this is basically what happens no acceleration What I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually show a little more visual video. Hold on one second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down both throttle bodies. I'm going to disconnect them from the vehicle as if there is a problem with them. Let's say you drive down the road and you have a problem with one of the throttle bodies. So that's what we're going to do. Just disconnect them completely. So we start the vehicle in limp mode, basically. These are pretty tight, so you have to sometimes work these out a little bit. I can leave one in, but I want to make it as clean experiment as possible. Okay, so now, both throttles, the ones that are installed on the vehicle and test throttle bodies, they're both disconnected at the moment. As you can see, these are my throttle bodies, rebuilt the same way as I rebuilt all of them. They're on my personal car. So let's do, let's start the vehicle now and see how we have the problem here. Okay, okay, we'll start the car. So now, because both throttles are disconnected completely, we do have ASR light right off the start. Because computer didn't see them connected, it sees there's a problem, so you're automatically into limp mode. Now you press on the gas, see what's going on. That's basically how engine accelerates poorly. Let's go and show you, let's go and see the gas pedal here. So, as you can see I'm pressing on the gas pedal and nothing is happening. So this is right now what I have as you can see that it basically does not let me even accelerate further down I mean further up because this is a very natural limp mode like this is the best limp mode you get well I mean for the test purposes of course you never want to have this limp mode happening to you but if it happens it happens. 
So what it does is it's cutting off fuel supply to injectors because it sees serious issues with throttle body. See how the whole engine shakes. This is called fuel safety shut off. That's when throttle bodies are completely off. Now you do have gasoline smell out of the exhaust because the engine is not running properly. Next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna do second experiment. We're gonna do, let's say one throttle body is still working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect my throttle body, one of them, the primary, to the vehicle. Okay, let's just assume that the primary one is working. Secondary one is still disconnected. Let's start the vehicle again. <coughs> okay, so we'll start the car. We're still in limp mode. But, see the difference here now is because primary is working. I can accelerate, but only on six cylinders basically. All 12 run on idle, but six cylinders get in more air than the other six. So there is still some acceleration happening because primary one is connected. So this is sort of a second kind of scenario that which you can experience. And now, when you look at the gas pedal, there is acceleration. But we're only accelerating on six cylinders. So only six cylinders get in enough air. The other six are just idling. So the whole engine runs in kind of very bad mode. It's like six cylinders running, six cylinders are idling. So you get the idea. So this is, this is our problem here. And of course we have limp mode. We have a SR light light lit up. Therefore, this is, what's, this is how they react. But at least we have some acceleration. Now, the last scenario, also very strong odor from the exhaust. Now, the last situation is when we connect throttle bodies, both of them, to the vehicle and we start the car normal. No more limp mode. Let's see how it runs. When it is not in limp mode, basically each and every sec each and every time you start the car, computer does self-check on throttles. So if throttles check out fine, it will not light up ASR light and your engine will run on all 12 and all, all is good. So as you see, we just had limp mode happening and now This is our normal acceleration. Just tap on the gas pedal and it goes up. No problems. So this is basically how you can tell. As you can see, nice and fast. This is how you can tell if your car is in limp mode or it's not in limp mode. So right now the car is not in limp mode no warning lights, perfect idle, acceleration is also very light and fast. And engine runs smooth. So this is basically limp mode, couple of different scenarios. Uh, when one throttle is bad, second throttle is bad, both of them bad. But in any event, as you can see in my case, I only had ASR light come on. In some cases, both lights come on, ASR and ABS together. It depends on the model year and the model of the vehicle um, or if you're moving, if you like, when you have limp mode happening to you, if you're moving, like you're on a highway or something, then both lights might come on because ASR and ABS systems, they're both sort of talk to each other. So if one fails, the second one also does not work. Um, so this is basically how it goes. I mean, again, there are combinations of these issues. Both of them or one light comes on. So 
that's basically what happens here. So I hope this video clears out limp mode on V12 engines and the first thing you do is you have to repair your throttle bodies, you have to check them at least, make sure that they're in good perfect shape, working condition and no shorts and wires and if you will continue driving in this condition there is a possibility of computer damage obviously you do not want to go there because those are expensive computers and very few are out there for sale so and expensive also for used ones new ones are like five thousand dollars from the dealer four thousand dollars it's just unreal numbers what they sell them for so therefore you do not really want to do this what I do is I rebuild these throttle bodies I can check computers um, and like I said those throttle bodies right there on the on on my hood right there so this one right there this is one customer's throttle body that I repaired and this is the second one they came from a 600 SL from V12 <clears throat> so therefore I tested them on the vehicle before making this video you're watching so that's what I do I fix them I test them on the bench I test them on the car make sure they're perfectly fine because before you put them back in the vehicle you have to be a hundred percent sure they're in good shape or you can burn the computer so therefore that's what I do I make sure that they're perfectly fine and repaired so you're never gonna have any chances of burning the computer plugging them in back in the vehicle unless the computer is already burned because if wires are shorted for a long time then obviously you have way more chances of computer failure than uh, just when you have ASR light come on a few times you shut down the ignition restart it and you drive off then computer is still fine so you have to do throttles before that all right well this is Victor at historiamercedes.com you can find me there on the website thank you for watching